When I was growing up, if you released a game, it came soldered into a cartridge or pressed onto a compact disc. And when you sent it to be mastered, you had to make damn sure that it was tried and tested because you were going to be stuck with it as it was, and so were the players. When you built a mobile phone, you loaded it with one hopefully flawless firmware that did the job and nothing more. As mobile devices advanced, I noticed them get slower before they got faster, and as video game consoles spread their roots out into the internet, I noticed game developers getting lazy. Across technology and media, it has become the norm to sell products that are not finished, to sell products that are designed only to sell you more products, or to sell you products within products. In the mainstream, you no longer buy a game designed to be enjoyed and cherished, you buy a game that has just come out and already needs an update. And if you like the full experience, you need to buy the downloadable content. If you own a smartphone like an Android or an iPhone, phone, you've probably noticed it gets slower over time. Chances are the operating system that it came with worked perfectly, but all those updates that it told you to get have pushed it little by little towards obsolescence. I feel we're at a moment in history akin to the 50s when big tobacco seemed to be the only big voice being heard on the topic of smoking, and it was saying, hey, don't worry about it, it's fine. But for us, the Young Connected, it's now the technology and gaming industry saying, hey, don't worry about it, grab the new update, check out this DLC, wait in line for a new smartphone, with not enough influential voices on the other side of that fence. Big tech and gaming right now is all about anti-competition tactics and targeting young people's wallets. By its very nature, the subscription-based MMORPG model leads to the dominance of a few titles and makes it really, really hard for emerging games to get any share of the market because you're already paying money monthly to a product the same money that you might be spending on something new. Free-to-play games with microtransactions for things like items mop up the audiences that don't want a subscription or can't have one. But if you have to purchase in-game currency with a credit card, then you're closing out all the people that don't have access to a credit card. So then points cards become available in high street shops so that children can buy them with cash. I know I can't possibly cover this whole topic in one video, but I want to try and get you thinking. There needs to be more outrage, and there needs to be more education for young people on this topic, because you are being commodified. Now, I don't want you to denounce all technology and go and live in the woods. Technology is great. I just think it's important to take the time to understand how it affects you, your rights, and your money. Because it seems like everywhere I turn, someone is telling you to tap your life away on a game where the only reward is playing the same thing more. To update your brand new blockbuster title to fix the glitch they left in it. To buy a license to play specific parts on your £40 disc. To stay in constant connection with the internet just so that you can play part of the disc that you paid for. To live chat, tweet, Blog, share, like, up and down your trophies, to win coins, to buy hats for your avatar to wear when you share pictures of him in-game. To give companies who used to innovate more money just because they started trading publicly. And give companies who used to make video games control over how you play yours because you can't be bothered to walk to a shop or read terms and conditions. To buy unfinished technology with an expiration date so it can sit in your living room or on your desk or in your pocket sending your information to advertisers while it waits for a chance to sell you more stuff. And maybe, just maybe, if you post this video to Tumblr, you'll get an achievement there too.